Um, in talking to the healthcare workers this week, it became very clear that people legitimately say, but if I take the vaccine and say it happened to me and I dead, who can take care of my family? I want to answer this in two ways. One, the cabinet has discussed this matter and I believe that, uh, that I can tell you definitively that we will issue, as has happened in the UK and, and Canada, a directive that allows you to have a one-off payment so long as your family, your estate, so long as we can show that the death or serious disability came as a result of the vaccine. That is not a question for commentary, like the things going around Facebook and WhatsApp, like was going around last week about a woman who died, and you say that she died from the vaccine, when in truth and in fact, we know the facts are not even near there. We have a committee that involves independent people, including BAMP and others, that deals with adverse reactions, and I think that's led by the head of the pharmacy. Um, is that Ms. Hines who leads that? Um, the head of the drug service. So these are people who are independent and professionals. And so long as that is in place, and we will roll it out, I've asked for greater details and research on how we look at quantum and causality, but that is being done as we speak. Secondly, this is a country that offers, for the most part, free health care. Let's, let's, let's never forget that. So we don't start where other countries start because we already give people access to free health care. And thirdly, I say to you that if you die from the vaccine, we will help you. But regrettably, when you die from COVID, I'm not sure who's going to, other than the normal welfare services.